Welcome back to Banner Saga 2. Before we talk, let's see if there's any training to be done. Well, come on, have a look at you. No, he doesn't have any special training, so that's out. Uh, we have some renown. We can see if it's good enough to do anything. Ah, he's injured! No! Minus two injury as well. That's... that's he just can't really be frontline at all. That's all. Get her plus one to all talents. Maybe. Or get him survivable. Because I could just give her puncture, avoid armor. That's not high enough to go for. Resist, regen. Bonus crit. I like that. Lucky shot and bon Yeah, that that's where I'd go with that. If I can which I can, so I will improve your ability as well. So let's just bonus or double bonus. Fifty percent. I'm a lucky shot. Okay, full crit. All right, great. So now she gets, instead of, she gets one less strength, but she rarely is in the front line. So now she gets all those skills. Get, does she get, you have to have the skill for it to bonus. So 25% crit. Uh, wait, it said all skill. Okay, so this is 50% bonus. Okay. So if she upgrades, I realistically should just give her something some other categories to really make it multiply. Or it's zero. And that might have been foolish because they could use the extra health. Time would have to. Oh, but that freed this up. Two to your armor talents, plus three to armor. Oh, he has armor talent. Make him a super armor dude. He has. Armor repair. Well, here's three armor. He's using 10% crit chance. How oh, you just get a little armor repair? Uh, where, where is this? That's annoying. I could look down here to see what he has. Armor on rest. Not the best thing out there. Probably the best thing that he can use. Crit doesn't help him as much. Movement and dodge. I like he might get a chance to rest. It could happen. I don't think anyone wants this, quite honestly. These. You get one strength, a little bit of will. Protect from. That minus three armor is just too crappy. But this is not bad. If I can get him some rest before the big fight, it's just a question of who should fill in in the meantime. Hockham can fill in. He's actually on an upgrade. She might get. So let's probably do that temporarily until I can get him healed. Because there is no rest. Well, let's talk to him. How, how are you feeling, man? You got hurt in that last battle. The Scald is tying a dyed strip of cloth onto his daughter's hair, but sends her off to play as you near. We've come all, all this way for war. With luck, I might change their minds. And be the reed that would stop the wind. You've got a lyric for every moment, don't you? Of course, plenty before us have been in similar situations and written about it. We only think our lives are unique. And if peace is not an option, is there a scald song for that? Plenty. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'd do. Save the families who can't save themselves. I can't imagine if my wife and children were left out here, like they don't deserve the same protection as others. 
Aleo's words flood your thoughts as you walk away. Okay, so they're all going to tell me what I should do. Now, we we will totally leave out the, the dirty horseborn because they probably don't even deserve to live, but I would like to get the storyline from them, so we'll talk to them anyways. Scat Hatch. His name is Scat Hatch. Just imagine what he does with his mouth. And this guy, pa Deridu, paced nervously, keeping their distance from humans, vile, and other horseborn. Groek patrols around the two a short distance away, nodding to you briefly. Is everything okay? Many mans, more than we know, live. You stop to look around at the thousands of tents in the fields and hundreds of homes beyond the capital's walls. I'm from a small village. I'm not used to seeing so many people either. Maybe hard too big. So many mouths hungry. If some dead, more easy feed herd. Scat Hatch stomps the ground and says a few shrill notes to Deradero before turning to you. Deradrio forgets we are not of same thinking with mans. If you think Big Herd is right, we will think Big Herd is right. But what do you think is right, Scott Hatch? The male horseborn looks up at Abarang for a few moments while swishing his tail in thought. I think Big Herd kick each other in small fields. He points to Abarang. Small fields behind walls. You thank them for talking and offer them a few calming words before departing. Trig. Triggy! Oh boy, what you got? The former cragsman is trying to lure something out of a hole with a small piece of dried meat on a string. He leaves it dangling by his side while standing to talk. It looks like you're keeping busy. I'm playing fox and hare with a vole. Do you think foxes ever play Trigvi the vole? No. Trigvi looks disappointed. Do you have any ideas on how to keep two groups from killing each other? Any powders or relics or crazy schemes? He reaches into his tunic and grabs something, pauses, releases whatever it is, and shakes his head. People kill each other every day. Just enjoy the show. But if it comes to war, I don't think either side will leave us out of it. Shigavi thinks about what you are saying, tapping a fingernail against his teeth. He looks at his finger, sneers, and spits. Killing kings requires a lot of lives. It's just as easy to kill clansmen instead. Either way, some will praise you and others will throw dung at your face. Or you could collect all the dung in a giant hill, stand on top of it, and be your own king. As you watch him crouch back down the hole, you wonder what possessed you to speak to him. <laughs> I think I should be the new king. We have none of it, but let's just have a look at what would have been available at the market if I would have saved up renown. A brooch that gives plus two to all talents, one will per turn. That's pretty good. Toss two armor, not bad. Plus one EXE talents. What's EXE? Three will per kill, two will per rest. Um, protects from deaths and strength plus knockback. Nothing too exciting. Well, let's have a meeting. Before you head towards the large tent, Oddleaf stops you. Are you certain you're ready what, what could happen out there? Her worried look is infectious. The king may be a decent man, but I doubt he's kept his throne by always following the rules. I'm prepared. There's nothing else that I can do. I'm glad to hear your confidence in your voice, Oddleaf says. Just be careful. I'll be back here with the rest of the clan if you need me. You smile and make your way past the line of clansmen making the, marking the boundary of the peaceful bit. The voices coming from under the tent are loud, animated. Perhaps Luden will help us out here. Best we could. Okay, what's the king? Uh, he's... You've done well. I'd never thought I'd see my son again. Well, we've all had easier journeys. The king's cheerful mood lessens. He's about to say something when he sees you approaching. Who is this? Well met, King Minoff. I'm Rook from Skoger. Luden steps forward. Father, this is the Sunderslayer I told you about. 
King Minoff nods, but is staring at Hakon from under heavy brows. It pains me to hear you've lost so many of your hardy warriors, Hakon. But tell me, where's Jorunda Kenda Wagner? Wagner died protecting your son. I was Wagner's kinder. With Jorunda dead at death, with Jorunda's death at Einertoff, I'm king of the few remaining Varl. The king says nothing, contemplating the news. Your walls are the last hope for my people. No sense in denying it. I understand, and of course, you'll have refuge here. The least I can do for bringing my son back alive. It'll be tight, but I'm sure we can find a place for you. King Minoff, Rook here is just as much responsible for the prince's safe return. He has quite a few clansmen. Careful, Varro King. This is the human capital, and my generosity is already stretched thin. Hakan looks at you and shrugs. Tell me, Rook, what makes you better than the hundreds of other chieftains out here? Men whose great deeds I've heard of, no less. You knight of many clans, I'm a Sunderslayer. The only difference is I'm here before you. Tell me why I shouldn't join these clans in fighting you. Hmm. I'm a Sunderslayer, that is a very good argument. That's right, I have heard about this. But Luden made it seem like your daughter actually did the work there. Ooh, you dirty bitch. You say nothing. But even if Bellower was real and you were the one to defeat him, what does one victory amount to? The Sunder was real. The Varro lives. Lives lost at Grothheim and Einertoff can vouch for him. And my victories have continued with every clansman's life I've saved on our way here. Well said. The results of daily tasks are more than any outcome on the battlefield. Only now do you see Ruga and two dozen fighters approaching. The king's guards look concerned. We shall sacrifice the sheep. Because, why not? Ruga. Minoff. I should have killed you when I had the chance. You tried, remember? Hmm. Did the Sunder Slayer convince you to open your gates to your people? You will never enter my gates again. I'd hope you died in Borsgard. How is it that you've come to speak for all these clans? The people you've turned your back on. Seems they needed a leader they could trust. Again. How have you come to speak for them? Did you fool them like the people of that rotted town you governed? The only fool here is the outnumbered king believing he still has a say in what happens now. Don't make us breach your walls. We'll just have to repair them once we're inside. Remind them of the dredge. I think we need to remind them of the dredge. And when you two wear each other down, who's left at the dredge attack? Minoff doesn't know the first thing about fighting dredge. He's been insulated too long. I earned my throne by strength, Ruga. I can demonstrate on how I'd handle dredge. And what? Fail to kill me again? Rook, look at your people out there. Our people. They need food and clean water. Not that poison in the river. They need protection. You cannot allow this king to keep us away from safety after all this way. He doesn't have to. I'll find a place for the people under your banner, Rook. A place inside the walls alongside the Varl. A place this Feyen man will never be allowed again. That's enough. Both of you bickering like children instead of leaders. And you, giant, joining this king after all we did to keep your people alive. Traitor! Hawken growls and flexes his grip on his axe. All parties look angry and tense, and then look at you. Ruga's right. Too many will die out here for so few. Inside, my banner, my people are my only concern. You know what? I think most people hate Ruga so much. I, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to I don't wanna join Ruga, but I wanna try to bargain for a little bit better deal, if you know what I mean. Too many people will die out here for so few inside. It is true. You see, Minoff, he knows how the game works. Now. The former governor's eyes look full of mischief. 
I didn't agree to fight for you, though. So if you start some shit, I'll let you die. Though I think it might force me to fight the king. Ruga blows a war horn, sending out one shrill note. You look back to see his forces either charging the wall or turning on Varl. Your clan is divided, humans squirreling off against Varl, their former allies. Without warning, Ruga pulls his cloak pin dagger and lunges at King Minoth, who shifts slightly, the blade only piercing his side. Before anyone can act, Ruga s slinks behind his fighters who are charging toward Hakon and King Minoth. This is a damn shame, Hakon says, but I have to get my people inside those walls. You would... Depths, you are doing the same thing. This is leading, right? You look at the Vowel King and nod. I'm sorry it's come to this. Joined banners or not, we were clansmen. Navarro clenches his jaw. He looks over the armies, his eyes searching for a way out. Finding nothing, he looks back at you, inhales sharply, and speaks with resolve. Then fight like a Varro clansman, damn it. I'd hate to kill you easily. There is nothing more to say or time to say okay, it's time to say it. The two of you join your separate allies as the clamor of war pits you against each other. Okay, so that just means like I just straight up had to join him, I guess. Okay, we have the we have a no varl strategy here. She's at level eight. Um, who do we throw in? Who do we throw in? Who's got the most health? <laughs> Might be her. Ten ten. Ten thirteen. Ten eleven. Nine thirteen. Yeah, so she's in. I think. W we just have to protect him. He goes about middle. She's got some range on her. Keep her in the back. And we don't have any renown to work with. And do you have a... S That's not happening. Give her a little strength. See, I wanted to, like, if I could have betrayed the horseborn, that would have been the ideal situation. Hopefully I get to kill Ruga after still. Okay. Kill the king! <laughs> I mean, I wasn't that, like, hardcore. I was just trying to bargain. Okay. Okay, where are we? We're a bit scattered here. Wait, is that... Bowmaster Champion? Oh, we gotta kill Luden? What? Okay, this is that's what I lost loot. I lost everybody, man. This is horrible. This is horrible. That was a horrible decision. I'd rather, much rather, have Luden in my ranks. And ugh. Okay, m maybe we'll be friends afterwards. We'll see. So she's gonna want to slag afterwards. So let's get them two in a row. Hope he doesn't charge. Then we, our people are not as good. I mean, that's basically our first string. Oh, come on. Try that. Didn't want to end up like this, but I want this. I'm sorry, Hakon. I wish things could be different. Okay, King goes first. So we'll just start off with a big ol' break. She's gonna slag us. <laughs> He's got his little banner. How far is her slag? Her rain of arrows? Yeah, I want her to move forward one. Do a rain of arrows. Heavy. Very heavy. That's full commitment. This guy? Okay, so they're gonna do a, a little... The king's guards are legendary. Their lives are linked to the king's. Yes, and their mender charms will repair the king's armor. Okay, so that tells me he's literally undamageable. He'll go next, followed by Luden, who's one of our biggest threats. So let's get Luden to expend on movement. So let's go here, and we'll stonewall if we need to. 
Oh, baller. How did he know? All right, you're going to have to do your best here, son. Help the cause. Oh, he's able to do some break in there. He has impale only. He bleeds on movement. All right, here we go. Ouch. Oh, so he, <laughs> that's actually bad because he has to run further. Yeah, let's let's get her involved here. Pin, poison tips. Nah, we're good here. What? Ah, oh, that was ripped from me. Ouchies. All right, so now Rook. I don't really want Rook to get the kill. King goes next. If I position Rook correctly. Yeah, Rook's gonna go right here. Just do some break damage. Hopefully trick somebody to run into this. Oh man. That was just total Dumbsville. Um He'll go first. So he could go over and finish him. Or she can finish him. That guy's next either way. He probably can't do too much. We'll go to Luden next. He'll either have to move on the right or have to move here. He has to go through that. So. Hmm. I think we're better off just finishing him off. Because he's not going to be someone we want to have around. I'll take those gloves. Ouchies. Alright, he's done. Alright, he needs to just hunker down, I believe. Uh, they can run around him. Well, he can, technically. So if I can get this guy down first, is probably the... Oh, very nice. Dodged. Five. He only has two left. You can take him out. I'm confident in you. Luden? Bye bye. You failed as his protector. Ooh. Ouch. Four. Yeah, I want to protect her. So let's go here. And oh, there's knockback. I was not aware of that. Rook could go down, yep. Two. Alright, let's see. I like it. Risk. Oh, wow. He's got to move. We got to take out the... Oh, no, don't do that. Gotta rush the king, quite honestly. They might take... They're smart, they would've taken her out. Alright, so he's out. Um, he has up to three. Uh, 
Ooh. Three. Let's do the one. Ouch. Or actually, if I could get her right here, we'll get the armor bonus. And then do the attack. Doesn't matter. That's the bigger play right now. You're done. Give me that. Not waste anything, so he's broken armor. Alright, we got a shot at this. And who would have known Egil would would be the Kingslayer? <laughs> to the gate! Back to the gate! Feeling strange, that wound Ruka gave me. The foes okay. Yeah, that played out really intensely just for me making, uh, like, a half-hearted comment about, like, yeah, totally, there's not too many people that you're protecting. Everyone pretty much went down. Very small reward, too. King Minoff regains his footing and falls back toward Abarang's walls as his forces rush past him into the fray. You wave the banner of Skogur and your clan surrounds you. To the gates, you shout over the clash of axes and hammers on shields. So the siege begins in the next episode. So catch you all then.